this is Dr. Lou Sella, sport performance psychologist. You'll never go wrong if you practice against these looks. You'll never go wrong. If you run zone dive, you want to practice against a gap eight, a seven diamond, a six five goal line, and any type of TNT fronts, whether it's bear eagle. You want to go against triple stack. Guys, like practicing against like a 50 and a 4-4 and a 4-3, that's easy stuff. Like, go against a gap eight, a seven diamond, a six five goal line, bear eagle, triple stack, you're, you're on your way. Throw in some 50, you'll be okay. All right, it's with mid triple, same thing. You want to practice against short yardage goal line fronts because if you can block those, you can block everything. Same with the trap. The toss, I learned this about eight, nine years ago from a Division One coach. Not going to say his name. I don't want to give him too much credit because he'll get a big head. You want to run rocket toss against a 50 defense as much as possible because if you look at it, you got the corner, the safety, the nine tech, and the mic. You're supposed to run rocket toss when they blitz, but if the mic happens not to blitz, it forces the A-back to friggin' hit hash number sidelines end zone in a hurry. So you can never go wrong going rocket toss or B-back toss against a 50. When you throw the ball, you want to throw against two high safeties, whether it's a 4-3, a 3-4, anything that has two high safeties, any type of cover 4, 40, 4 under, you can't go wrong because you're giving your kids the worst case scenarios. Isn't that what coaching's all about? Giving them the worst case scenarios? Listen, you do that, you'll you will not go wrong. You'll get more out of your kids than anything else. So zone dive, mid triple trap, give them goal line fronts, gap eight, seven diamonds, six five goal line, sometimes even a seven two. You can have the nine techniques, pretend to cover the receivers. Um, bear, eagle, triple stack, then maybe a 50. Don't worry about even fronts. Any, any ham and egger can block an even front. If you can block a gap bait or a seven diamond, you're going to be all right. Against the toss, you want to run a 50 passing game, any type of 40, four under, uh, anything like that. You're going to really challenge your offense in the passing game do that thank me later but if you want to get into the details of how to run the under center triple option offense the air force way the right way the first time the way air force ran the offense in 2023 pick up the phone and give me a call my number's on the thumbnail of this video so is my website the triple option football academy the triple option football academy camps are going to show you how go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials see all the success stories that have come from the camps and the academy. I'll see you in the next video. Talk soon.